Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I partnered up with McCart to show you guys how to apply poly gel to your natural nail, or in other words, do a poly gel overlay. This is perfect if you want a more natural nail look, or if you're already happy with your nail length, but you still wanna use poly gel. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using their Nude Nature Poly Gel Kit. I've actually had this for a few months now, but I've been wanting to use it so badly because all the colors are neutral. You get six different poly gel shades, and then the kit also comes with your gel base and top coat, a nail file, brush, dual forms, nail forms, and your slip solution. So getting right into the tutorial, as always, you wanna start off with some nail prep. This is going to include pushing back your cuticles, removing the shine from your nail, and then filing your nails to your desired shape. Once I've done that, I'm gonna wipe my nail off using rubbing alcohol and a makeup sponge. So this next step I'm only doing because I'm constantly changing and filming my nails. So if you want your nails to last long, which I feel like most of you do, then you want to completely skip this step and go to the next one. But I'm just applying the Oom Peel Off Base Coat, and this is going to let me just easily pop off my nails in a few days. So, I mean, you do have this option if you don't plan on wearing your poly gel nails long or if you want that easy removal. But if not, you're going to go ahead and apply your gel base coat. You want to make sure you're keeping your coats thin, and if you get any on your skin, just make sure to wipe it off before you go to cure your nail. So, you will need a UV slash LED lamp for this. The one I'm using is also from McCart, so I'll have that link down below. But you're just going to cure your nail, and then we're going to move on to the poly gel. I decided to go with a siesta, which is a very neutral pink color that I thought would look so cute. And honestly, I had no idea how much to put on my nails, so I kind of just squeezed some out directly from the container. And you can also use the spatula to do this, but I just found this easier. But I do think with this method, it's better to put too much poly gel on your nail and then slowly take it off rather than only having a little bit and then having to stop and keep adding more. Next, you're gonna be using your brush and your slip solution. If you don't have slip solution, it's pretty much rubbing alcohol, so you can just use that instead. So what I'm doing is just taking the brush and dipping it into that, and then I'm gonna start kind of molding that giant blob I just placed on my nail. So this was actually my first time ever doing a poly gel overlay. I did do my thumb and pinky before I filmed this nail as practice, but even though I'm new to this, this was actually pretty easy to do. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through the method that I use to really spread this around my nail. And keep in mind, there are multiple ways to do this. This is just what worked for me. First, as you guys saw, I placed the poly gel onto my nail about three fourths of the way down toward my cuticle. I wanted to make sure I left some space in the cuticle area so that that it wouldn't get too thick. After dipping my brush into the slip solution, I'm just gonna start kind of dragging the poly gel down toward the tip of my nail. And it will start to level out on its own a little bit, but I also wanted to make sure I was getting the excess product off of my nail. So you can't really tell right here, but I'm also avoiding the sidewalls of my nails because just like the cuticle area, I don't want them to get too thick. And I also don't wanna file. If you didn't know, I don't like filing at all. I try to avoid it as much as I can. That's why I don't do acrylics and stuff like that because I just don't have time to be sitting there filing a nail. But anyways, once I have the extra poly gel just kind of hanging over the edge of my nail, I'm gonna take the other side of the brush, which is the metal spatula, and just scrape that right off. After that, I'm gonna be moving on to the side walls and cuticle area. At this point, you wanna use a very light hand and just gently move slash pat the product over. You don't wanna apply too much pressure when you do this just because you could end up leaving kind of a patch in the nail and then you'll have to go back in and fix it and it's just the whole thing so really just take your time with this i promise you it will save you time later if you take your time when you do this and then once i finished the sides i did the same thing to my cuticle area also with the poly gel try not to get it on your skin but if you do you can use acetone or rubbing alcohol to remove it and then I did end up going over the edge of my nail one last time with the brush just to make sure it wasn't too thick. And then I used the spatula side of the brush to scrape off the excess. Once you are happy with your nail, which I was, I was not expecting it to go this well, but you're gonna go ahead and cure that poly gel under the lamp. And then after that, I'm gonna quickly buff my nail. Like I said, if you take your time with the application, you don't have to worry about filing and buffing for forever afterwards. So I'm gonna move on to the gel top coat. Again, you're gonna apply this like you would any gel top coat. Make sure you keep it thin, make sure you don't get any on your skin, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So just cure your nails one more time under the lamp and you are done. So overall, I love this method. I don't know why this is my first time using it, but I will definitely be using it again. I feel like this could be really fun with some nail art. I don't know how I would do it, but I think it'd be fun. Um, as you can see, it's not bulky on the side. This still gives you a really nice natural look. 
And I, this is great. You should definitely try it if you're thinking about it. Definitely do it. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.